Hello everyone and welcome to another Let's Give It A Go! Today we're checking out a game called Spelp! <laughs> it's another arena-like survivor! Um, no, let's try that again. It's an another arena survivor-like game. <laughs> uh, a la Vampire Survivors and all those type of games. Um, but this one is very cute. Look at the pixel art style. It's so, so adorable. I did play one game just to see if it uh, is worth my time. And uh, I think it has something interesting to add. Now, the map and all those stuff is pretty basic. But it, this game does have a lot of uh, character and nice little weapons. Um, you'll see as soon as I get in. Let's just play with Jay Spelt. Why not? Uh, I'll play with Jonathan in the next run. So I do have some money to unlock uh, in the shop, but I haven't spent anything as you can see, just so that you can keep it safe as if I'm playing the, for the first time. I still have no idea what these are. I think this is different levels. This is probably the difficulty or something like that. I have no freaking idea. And this is obviously the, the planet you're playing on. Stardust, a rocky exoplanet inhabited by a violent species of alien. Defeat their boss to access to endless mode. First then the job, survive to uh, prove your value to the Spelp program. Well, if it's the Spelp program, I'm Jay Spelp. Uh, isn't it my program? Anyway, <laughs> that's beside the point. Let's hop right in. As you can see, auto fire and you twin stick aim. There is some flashes that you can disable, screen shake you can disable, and damage checks you can all disable. And the nice setting there that is pretty good so let's drop right in collect your lot of xp as per usual with these type of games and the enemies at the start is obviously a kind of a joke but as uh, per usual in these type of games the first enemies they take two shots now here, here we get to some of the abilities as you can see at the bottom left, you can have six weapons right here, which is standard for your uh, survival roguelikes or your survival likes, I should say. Now, this is the weapons and this is your utilities. The blue ones are the utility items. The one red ones or pink ones, they are your abilities. And let's just see, they can also level up and everything. So. Summon Orb of Black Energy Explode on Contact. Let's test this. These are all skills I've never had, so... Oh, I took some damage there. You see that big, nice big explosion. So the thing that I like about this game is, even though it is basic, you can see the world graphics is not something extraordinary. <laughs> it's nothing new, especially since it's like a barren moon they're playing on with little alien creatures even the creature design is pretty basic for now you'll see it evolves as it gets harder but the thing that i like is the weapons is weapons that you never see usually in these survival like games you all have ex almost exactly the same type of weapons especially the games that more closely copy vampire survivors directly which is obviously already an inspiration uh, straight from castlevania so it has a certain weapon bases that it sticks to and other clones of those same type of games they have the same type of uh, weapons that you you can see resemblances at, at least this one on the other hand goes a whole different route and comp uh, tries to create weapons that you haven't seen in any other game at least as far as i know so that's something that i can appreciate and it makes it fun to play as opposed to some of the guy the games that uh I won't say control better, but is functionally or visually better uh, than this. So, I mean, as, if you look at the core function of a Vampire Survivor game, most of the fun is the weapons and how it evolves and how it gets stronger and how you like to get uh, overpowered. So let's just okay what. Okay, so this is different. There's black holes also. Let's see. Maybe you can get some kind of... Um, what do I want to call it? Some kind of synergy going with all these black hole type attacks. So it doesn't look like the black hole... Ooh, ooh, I love that visual effect. It doesn't look like the black hole 
sucks any enemies in, which would have been pretty nice. But it does do damage over time, not a lot. I'd expect a black hole to almost instantly kill most enemies, but it does almost less than my pistol does, so... No, no, it actually does do less than my pistol. So you can see in the top, unlike other survival games also, well, I, I say other, most other survival games, this uh, has a countdown timer instead of a count, counting up timer. So you know exactly how long you should be able to survive preemptively. Um, because there's a lot of clones that do the counting up timer, you never know if you have to survive for 10 minutes, uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, 25 minutes, anything like that. This one states from the start, survive 20 minutes, and that's that. So I can choose accuracy to increase my critical chance. Uh, at the moment it is zero, so that's probably a good choice. Although it might be nice to take another, another weapon. I did take this one in my first uh, attempt and it is pretty good. I'll show you now, you, or you'll see it pretty good or pretty soon. It's almost like that purple ball, except it does like a chain lightning and uh, the more you upgrade it, the more it chains to adjacent enemies, which later can get incredible. <laughs> you shock pretty much any enemy close to the path of that. Also, those are enemy bullets. Uh, do not make them the same mistake as I did and think it was some kind of beneficial red ball that's running away from me. <laughs> like a damn idiot. All new weapons. Uh, I'm gonna reroll. I don't want any more weapons at the moment. Uh, never mind, I'm gonna take a new weapon. So, am I gonna take another still standing or am I gonna take drones? Let's take a healing drone. It heals me and deals damage to enemies. Apparently, I haven't had it yet, so I still have no idea how it works. Uh, this game is pretty unforgiving. Uh, as soon as you get to a certain time, do I have to stand in this? Yeah, I do have to stand in this. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, God. I wish... Uh, uh, well, I hope the, the area increases as it level ups, because at the moment, it's Definitely the worst thing I have. I kind of wish the black hole also sucked in the XP for me. That would be pretty nice. Stay longer, heal more. That's nice. Ah, oh, okay. So here we go. Critical chance. Yes, let's get some crit going. Even a 10% crit is better than a 0% crit. As you can see, I am starting to get some crits off. And already you can see some strong enemies... Uh, starting to appear. They're not as deadly yet. They get a lot bigger, a lot faster, and even the basic enemies take a lot more hits, as you can see now. See, those guys usually took two hits. Now they take four hits. Also a little different from a lot. I'd say about 60% of Vampire Survivor games also, or Vampire Survivor-like games, uh, they also don't increase the, the strength of enemies you've already fought. These guys are incredibly, incredibly tough. And you can see my health is falling pretty quickly. And last time I actually had health regen. Now I don't. So I have to stand in this stupid little area. Come on, heal me a little bit, please. No, no, no. Okay. I'm a little bit more safe if I run away. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. If you run away, you're safe. The big guy is still coming. And I'm gonna get cornered in here. Well, my first run, I had a lot more upgrades. Oh, here we go. Regen. This is nice though. Increase HP max by 50%. It's incredibly high. Uh, I'm gonna actually take it. I did lose all the, that health immediately, but... Last time I made it way further. When I say way further, it's just the energy droplets. I don't think they were blue. I think they started turning green. Okay, so we got some little horn guys that charge you now. And some tentacle Cthulhu monster. Some crazy squids running away. Oh, 
Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. This is bad. Now, unfortunately, there's no active skills you can use. As far as I know, at least. Uh, not without unlocking it, basically. There is a health drink there. There's different kinds of drinks also. One makes you run faster. Uh, and the health one, that's the only ones I've encountered so far, at least. But I'm sure there's probably more. The thing, the problem I'm having now with my current strategy, uh, and I take take the word strategy with a <laughs> with a zero confidence there. Um, the problem is I'm killing enemies very slowly, but I'm also running away from all the XP that they're dropping. So I can generate bigger and stronger black holes more often. Now this sounds a lot stronger. We hope. Yeah, already they're doing double damage. So another thing you can see already is the level up of the um, of the, the weapons they scale pretty good. Summon the orb more often. Um, whereas other weapons, especially in certain games, you the damage that scales so bad that you have to level them almost to the max level before they actually become good. That's already just with a single level makes certain weapons so much stronger and I love that as I said I love these type of games where it it should be punishing if you play bad or if you're a little bit unlucky but you should be able to if you play well or you get actually get lucky then it should be ooh, select weapon level max to evolve or upgrade one nice okay so this is like another game that i've been wanting to play so long for this channel but i'm delaying it as long as possible because there's something i want to do before i do that but there's yeah this copy is something that that game has and it's uh, this game's a version of the anvil from that game where you can uh, upgrade a weapon one level for free or you can evolve it if it is max level so let's see what the upgrades are I know this one gets very strong if you get it max level. This one gets a bigger chain lightning. Even bigger black holes is nice. Summons the beam more often seems pretty good also. Let's summon the beam more often and just get it a bit stronger. It is the one attacking most of the enemies at the moment. Also that one. But I'm going to go try and get that magnet. I should have just run straight there. No, 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 I'm so close to dead. This is not good. Healing bot, you're absolutely useless so far. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, okay, so the hitboxes are still a little bit iffy. It's something that can be worked on. But other than that, I didn't have any problems. You can see also the gravity beam did by far the most damage. And all these types of games, please put a score or, or a board at the end just to show you the, the damage that certain weapons do because there's certain weapons that look like they do a lot of damage but actually they are absolutely useless so you pick them every single damn time because you don't know they're actually useless um so before i retry let's quickly go shop i've got some money unlocks the scanner with a 25 minute uh, meter range i don't know what the scanner is Unlock the ability to reroll crew members. I don't even know what crew members are. <laughs> Get one reroll every reroll. Okay, that's pretty basic. Upgrade the scanner to also indicate the nearest chest. What? Increase every damage dealt by 5%. That's pretty basic. Speed, basic. Increase magic XP, basic. Um, HP region, nice, nice. All these are pretty easy to understand. I have no idea, I have no idea what this means. So let's unlock this. Can I also unlock... Ooh, this is one expensive. Let's unlock the reroll for crew members. I still have no idea what it means there. And let's just increase the range of this. And then maybe a little bit more HP for now. Oh, man, no, no. Let's let's try. Ooh. No, I don't have 500. I want some regen. Uh, where was the regen? This one. Oh, 500. Son of a... Oh, these are expensive. So expensive. Oh, maybe all of them increase if you buy any. Oh, that might be a problem. Okay, that's fine then. 
So let's try with Jonathan. This one got one reroll every level, and they have an affinity for humans and explorers. Uh, I'm not sure what these these brackets are uh, like this because there wasn't like an indication uh, of um, what did I don't want to say of leveling up these guys, but I th have a theory what it might mean because we just got a reroll crew member thing. So maybe you can get crew members with the same affinities and that increases this. But where do you get crew members when there's only 20 minutes left and I've already played 5 minutes and did not get anything? So this is stuff to dis discuss or uh, discover in this game. It's a lot to think about. Everyone thinks he's OP, so he decided to only use guns. That's Jonathan for you. <laughs> he does pierce uh, an extra pierce for every bullet, which is nice. So, ooh, what the heck is this bullet, man? Jeez, he one-shots everything. It's pretty slow, but it blasts through everything, so I can chain kill this. Nice. And so far, it pierces literally anything, not just with extra. That's a level up for you. Bouncer fire, extra bouncing weapons. Uh, now, I wonder if the, bull the bouncing bullets is going to pierce also maybe just nice to take extra hp from the start yeah let's just take extra hp i'll focus on getting another weapon oh upgrade sure more explosions why not as i said so far every upgrade seems pretty good pierces to, four extra pierces to every bullet Nice. Okay, but let's go for. I've got, I've got a five percent crit rate already with him. It's not a lot, but let's go for a different weapon now. And I want to see if this also pierces. No, it does not. So what's the point of getting bouncing and piercing? Wait, but there it pierces. <laughs> what's going on? Feels like he's a little bit slower than the previous guy, than Jay Spelp. But oh well, uh, laser that deals continuous damage. Sounds nice, but I think I'd rather take a little bit more speed because I'm lacking in the speed, especially later on. There's some gaps I want to take. So these red enemies, are they special? Didn't look like it. Do love this explosion, exploding bullet. Pierces literally any, anything. Basic gun. Let's take. A machine gun. Sure. Let's just go all out gun with this guy. Not very strong though, but it does get a tiny little bit of knockback. Can I take out these guys for a change? No. So I take it the machine gun is gonna get really strong as it levels up. I just have a feeling that that might be a case because at the moment it's pretty bad. Shocker. This one closes. Uh, uh, not close. Uh, pierces already, so I want things that pierce. Let's increase my crit chance. Uh, crit might be pretty nice with the machine gun bullets. Magnum, more explosions. Sure. Oh, shotgun. Never mind. More gun. Okay, so the shotgun bullet is extremely close range, unfortunately. <laughs> and it might pierce, but I'm never supposed to be this close to enemies anyway. So maybe the shotgun is just bad, but that might also be um, made more useful as they level up. I mean, I'm killing enemies pretty quickly. Okay, this drink is the speed drink. Oh, there's something there. Hey, so this is what the scanner is. What the freaking hell is this? Help. Oh wait, I think I have to survive, right? <laughs> That's probably the thing. Okay, so that looks like a crew member. It looks like my basic guy. A basic little buddy. More pierce. More crit damage, more cooldown. 
Let's take more pierce, man. More pierce. Uh, especially for the machine gun. Might be useful later on. Yeah, team assemble. Unlock more characters to get more choices. Well, yeah, I've only got one one. But now uh, I'll, I'll get an extra level in Explorer, so more money. So, does he just... He just joins me. Nice. Does his... How, so does his weapons level up or anything? How does that work? This is already... <laughs> Turning into a very interesting game. I was complimenting it on its originality already with a different type of weapons, but this system, uh, the teammate system, there's only other one other game that so far has a teammate system like this in that I know of. And I've already done a let's give it a go of that. And that's the what is it? Something with zombies. Um I can't remember the name, but it's something with those zombies where you also have a team team members back together and they all have their own separate skills but this one i have no idea how this is going to work should a bullet freezing every target in a circle should bullets in a wave pattern so i want either one of these maybe freezing them should be nice jeez all these seems pretty good so far <laughs> i'm blasting through the enemies Let's check these guys. Yeah, even they are exploding. Definitely a lot stronger this time. Okay, so I... I've, I don't want to be overconfident or anything. <laughs> but I think this looks like I've got it in the bag, man. Let's hope the run doesn't take... Let's let's test down this guy. Okay, so it looks like my little buddy has a mind of his own. He's shooting whoever the freaking hell he wants. Um, which is fine. But the thing that I'm wondering about is... Does he take damage? Does it look like it? And I killed that boss somehow. That whatever you want to call that. More HP? More HP maybe? Maybe? More rerolls? Ooh, more speed. More speed. Let's get a little bit more It doesn't look like it affected the other the buddy guy. Maybe every upgrade before I got him didn't affect him. Now it would be nice if we could get upgrades for his weapon also. He has a level 2 weapon at the moment. The level 2 basic gun. Maybe he does level up with my levels. Maybe. I don't know. Flammenwerfer. Uh, for those who don't know, that's just a flamethrower. In German. Uh, I think it's German. Uh, it might be Dutch also. I don't know, but uh, I'm not sure. But okay, I'm gonna level up my my Magnum. Give give me more explosions. I don't want to drink the health potion yet. Now the thing is, I want to kind of explore the map more because I now know there's little treasure areas. But I also know that I don't have any more buddies to unlock. And the thing is, there doesn't seem to be a lot of different characters in the game yet. I mean, there seems to be some, but is there a limit to how many buddies you can have? Oh, wait a minute. You can see there at the bottom in my utility bar. This buddy character counts as a utility item. So maybe that's a reason to only have a little, uh, a limited amount of buddies. Maybe leveling up that buddy uh, will level up his weapon also. As I said, level 2 weapon with it is fine, but I know the max level 5 weapon is pretty incredible. It does seem to be affected by the piercing also, which is good. Got the big eyeball dude. Frozen straight out of the bag there. Can I kill him before I get hoarded? Ooh, apparently not. He's still pretty strong. Uh, I'll, I'll drink the potion right now. Okay, see, now we get the green crystals. This is where I was in my first attempt. Not the first recorded attempt, the first, first, first attempt. Machine gun, faster, stronger? Yes. 
Let's level it a little bit, since this does seem to be doing a lot of damage with the Pierce. But you can see it has reached its Pierce limit right about halfway through these enemies. So I might need another level in old, old Jonathan here right here. But again, this game, incredibly fun. It's very, very cheap on Steam at the moment. Uh, in dollars, I think it's like three dollars. I haven't checked the dollar one, but in my country's uh, currency, it's about the price of a, no, it's less than the price of a Big Mac. So, <laughs> so I don't know what that uh, translates to in your currency, but it's pretty cheap for lots of fun. Uh, let's see, bouncer. No, thank you. More speed. Let's reroll one. It's faster and farther. Now, see that's that seems useful. Let's make it shoot a little bit further, so that I can actually use the shotgun. It's still not that far, and I still haven't killed this eyeball. Ah, oh, there we go. No, 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 no. I want that purple crystal keys. Purple crystals. Come on. There's a money, or is that just big experience? Collect some more HP. Uh, let's see if I can. Ooh. Plum and Vashford. So these are all new. Three more ones. Maybe more crit chance? Sure, sure. Ooh, there's the purple crystal. Purple crystals and a lot of greens. Yeah, look at that. Quick and easy level there. All new. I'm gonna reroll again. I wanna level some of my weapons that I have already. Region is nice though. With this character, uh, especially because it doesn't seem like I take a lot of damage at the moment, but only healing a half. And HP per second, that is also not that good. But let's upgrade the shotgun, make it shoot even better. Ooh, the horde is already on my ass. There is another game that I have a regular series on, uh, on my channel. Uh, Death Died Survivor. Very, very, very good game with amazing controls. And that game calls its genre horde survivors which would make a little bit more sense if you look at the screen at the moment <laughs> this is incredible oh no oh god come on can i kill this guy no i'm stuck i'm stuck there's no dodge also in this oh god zero hp left Come on, I need to make it at least 10 minutes. Or not. <laughs> Somehow got it there. Oh, good. No. Let's go do some more shopping and I'll do one more run quickly. And so hopefully that will be enough for now. Uh, do I have... I still do not have enough for that. But I did want some... Oh, this is very little HP. A region, I mean. But it's better than nothing. Just getting some regen and some HP is better than nothing. Let's play one more. Yeah, as you can see, there's only 12 characters. And I'm not sure if all of them... Okay, yeah, it does seem like, look like most of them are in the game. About 25 minutes. Not gonna happen. Uh, get 100 XP gems with a single magnet. I've only had one magnet and I didn't actually pick it up. Unlocked after saving it three times. What's it? What heck is it? Finish the run with all apples. Apples. Uh, finish the run in the lab. Upgrade three Omega weapons in one run. Oh my god. Finish the run with at least three drone weapons equipped. That one might be possible. Finish the run with a professor. Finish the run with a smile. That's every run. But I don't finish it. I just die. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do one more run with... Jonathan, because I love the, the Explodey. Love the Explodey. Boom, look at that, man. So good. Just one aim to all these guys waiting in a straight line. Kills them all. That's... Boom. 
and there's my level up so obviously machine gun once again and we know now this is good although only doing three damage by now so something gave it a lot of damage a lot more damage to the start because the first time i pick it up did four damage and i do need more levels in piercing might need to buy more reloads just in case a lot of x's and x's on the ground <laughs> Okay, so let's try. No, let's take the more HP first. It helps to survive longer. This is a lot of XP anyway, so. We'll blast these guys, come on. Kill the little red guy. Shotgun. Okay, now I know shotgun is pretty useless, so let's level up machine gun. I don't think I'm going to use shotgun again. It might have a very, very good evolve, but getting it to level 5 and then finding one of the anvil things just to evolve it seems like more trouble than it's worth. Uh, I'm not going to pick up the health, obviously. Let's just kill this eyeball quickly and see what it drops me. Freezer also seems pretty good. Just an early green one. Okay, so now I'm going to take the alien gun let's see it does a little wave oh like the helix a little dna helix Ooh, do not run into the red do not run into the red this one also seems pretty good with the piercing so uh, like a wide burst so it's not easy to hit one enemy per sp specific Ah, yes, let's take more piercing. I did want the sniper rifle kind of there, but uh, taking the the more piercing makes all of my other weapons way better. Again, I should explore more also now that I, as I said, now that I know there's little guys waiting for me. And I might think there's one character said saving it three times. Maybe you can get characters without unlocking them uh, in these chests. Chests? What do you want to call it? Whatever that defense attack thing was where I got the little character guy. So shotgun? No thank you. Basic gun? It might be nice to get the basic gun and use that. He does have pretty good... Uh, not good damage, but it does have a pretty good uh, final level. But unfortunately, I don't have any rerolls because I don't have the other other little guy yet. So I'm just going to use it. Yeah. First level is pretty terrible though, and it starts getting good at level three, I think. Level two is nice, also, but level three it starts shooting one big bullet and two side bullets, like a, a better version of the shotgun. So, already feel strong again but we all saw how that went i felt amazingly strong and that went down the toilet pretty quickly magnum more explosions yes still don't have any rerolls unfortunately so i have to go with whatever the heck i roll let's get the big guy murdered and hopefully it gives me a purple xp that's a in the ooh, oh, orange one so it is still orange one is still uh, a level or not a level it's experience i thought it was money maybe more magnum sure magnum more explosions uh, i haven't paid attention if it increases the the damage also with it but we'll see Get this quickly going out of the way, come on. And I want to go explore, as I said, but I have no idea where any of these enemies or any of the other stuff might be. I want to get rid of this guy as quick as possible, yeah. He's gonna follow me everywhere. Let's just, let's just get some bullets all over the screen. I know Wonderbots call this type of games Bullet Heavens. Which I find highly inaccurate because the bullet hell 
is where your little guy going against an army of bullets and enemies which is the same as this but the enemies don't shoot you're the one shooting which in his eyes makes the, the reverse in you know other words the bullet heaven but again the opposite of it would not be you shooting everything it would still be a multiple use <laughs> shooting one enemy that would be a bullet heaven so this I, I still, still love to call it a arena survivor game that's basically what it is in the old what was it warcraft game uh, warcraft 3 mod maps you can download and make there was a lot of these euro survivor type games which is basically the same as this just a lot more jank <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad it became an actual genre now um, because as soon as the genre evolved and sure it has become pretty basic and it follows all the same steps unfortunately it's like a, a what was it what I wasn't saying that's why they call it vampires of clones because <laughs> so many games follow it by the book and don't come with anything innovative uh, on itself um, that when you get a game that is slightly innovative it's a pretty amazing feeling that's why one of the the game that I mentioned earlier with Anvil is a game that I wanted to review so freaking much because not only is it a free game it beats 99% of these survivor clones out of the bush but uh, I'm still waiting for my single surprise that I'm planning to go with the video <laughs> to actually be completed before I can do that oh there's a magnet there's a magnet there's a magnet uh, let's upgrade the machine gun and hope I don't die and hopefully that was more than 100 experience I doubt it though uh, let's shoot faster sure maybe that was more than 100 I don't think it would pick up still such a long time afterwards. These eyeballs are way too freaking strong though. Damn. Damn boy. Why don't you die? Ah, there we go. Gimme, 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 gimme. Greed. Greed is taking over. Sure. Now let's test the sniper rifle. It's gonna be slow but powerful, but it has amazing pierce at the moment, so. Hopefully one shots everything in a line I'm trying to see the bullet that it shoots but <laughs> the only thing that I see is the explosion I have no idea where the bullet is in that mess now we're getting back to the point where I died earlier and it's looking slightly better but not health wise I kind of want to stand still and kill all these bosses because I dropped juicy juicy XP but that's way too tough obviously need a lot more scaling and stop focusing on too many different weapons but it's dif difficult without getting way too many rerolls ah oh, more health thank you thank you thank you one of these guys again yeah look at the mess of enemies behind me how the heck am i supposed to survive that i have to run through these guys well these enemies are way too strong with them have more than like 300 hp this is like basic enemies now son of a okay so uh, no, I don't have time to even aim up. I have to just walk in the one direction and hope I kill everything in my way. Uh, defense is not going to help by now, right? Let's take some HP regen and hope it can regen me a little bit. Ah, oh, there's something. Hopefully it's health. Yes, it's health. Yeah, look at that. Those guys are already too strong. 
And that's a movement one. Can help a little bit. Get me through some of these enemies. If I can make a turn around somehow and go back up to collect all the things I missed. Would be nice. Now something that I've noticed is the same bosses come from different directions. So that might be that the enemies loop if they go off screen. And they just come from a different direction. Oh god, here we go. 25 meters, we've got another guy to save. How the heck am I going to do this? With all these enemies following me. This is impossible. Now I'm stuck. And they go through the... Oh no, okay, they don't seem to go through the wall. Or well, most of them don't. Uh, never mind. As long as they, the wall is off screen, they can go through the wall, apparently. But maybe now I get some time to actually kill the, the bosses here. It's almost 10 minutes. Does something happen in 10 minutes? We'll find out if I survive. Uh, that's not likely, looking likely at the moment. Collect all the HP, collect all the HP, come on. No, no healing. A stronger machine gun. I got killed through the wall, that's unfair. I got Atenio. Of Antenio, he's got because he's got an antenna. Let's just look quickly at him before I. Yeah. Thank you, design. Clankers gathered XP gems from further. Oh, I love this. Does laser machines. Okay, so it's a little uh, a robot buddy. Gains a higher chance of crits. Nice little robot buddy. So you'd think there's 12 people here. You'd think there'd be at least five of each of these. Five machines in order to actually be able to get this. That That's going to take quite some doing, putting five robots in here. Maybe it's possible, maybe not. Who knows? Anyway, this has been a let's give it a go of Spelp. A very, very good game. I'm looking forward to seeing it being developed further and playing a lot more of it. Uh, let me know below in the comments if you want to see more of it on my channel. And please, if you like more content like this, where I check out new games every day or every other day, then uh, leave a comment and subscribe and you'll see the notification come up uh, every day, as I said, well, almost every day. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and see you guys in another episode of Let's Give It A Go. Goodbye.